We got some minor spoilers ahead, okay? I know a lot of people at this point have already beaten Marvel Spider-Man 2, but still, you have been warned. You see, because today, not only are we going to be talking about the recent patch that was added to Marvel Spider-Man 2 that fixes some key things and updates some other things to make them look even better, but also, we have official hints, official teases towards what could be happening and what could go down in Marvel Spider-Man 3. So, okay, first things first, let's talk about it. There was a brand new patch that was just added to Marvel Spider-Man 2 today, including a bunch of bug fixes mainly the sugar cube is gone if you didn't know there was a bug where sometimes one of the spider man will just be a little white cube i personally think it's hilarious and i love it. every time i see it i love it it happened to me one time i don't think this was like game breaking pretty much whenever i would restart the checkpoint everything would be good but nevertheless it shouldn't happen anymore they've also mentioned in this update that there's just in general improved stability for the game which is great to hear and overall i should mention i've seen a lot of people talk online about the fact that they've had a relatively buggy experience playing marvel spider-man 2 which is surprising to me of course thanks to the folks at playstation canada i was able to get a review copy of the game and played it even before the day one patch and for the most part i had a relatively bug free experience the only problem that i ended up having pre day one patch was that i didn't really like how the amazing spider-man and two suit looked and well with the day one patch it looked much better with that being said though there are still a lot of people out there who think it wasn't perfect and i totally understand there's a lot of spider-man purists out there and things need to look tip-top shape when it comes to alternate suits and insomniac just continues to take in that feedback they're listening to the community that got their ear to the ground especially when it comes to the amazing spider-man 2 suit you see the latest patch updated the suit again it mentions here in the patch note that it addressed an issue where the amazing two suit spider logo appeared too bright but what it doesn't mention is that it also changed the shading of the red and the blue on the suit to look more accurate to how it looks in the actual film you see in the movies it's got this like maroon look to it almost this interesting little shine to it which is very nice it's very beautiful very pretty to look at and insomniac has gotten pretty close to matching that color scheme and i'm surprised they even did this honestly i didn't mind the way that it looked with the day one patch but but this looks even better, which I'm very happy with. This is definitely one of my favorite suits in the game to use, and I'm so glad it looks as good as it does, because again, I was scared there for a second when I was playing this for the review copy pre-day one patch. I was like, oh my goodness, I don't know what's going on here. But Insomniac is as quick with it as you should be hitting the thumbs up button on the video. Finally, though, they fixed an issue with this latest patch that has caused quite an uproar online. There's been a lot of controversy surrounding this, and a lot of people have gotten pretty upset with Insomniac games over this. You see, in the limited moments you have in the game playing as Miles, when you're walking around in his apartment, you can see actually that they've hung up a Puerto Rican flag. That's how it looks in Spider-Man Miles Morales. In Marvel Spider-Man 2, it was, for whatever reason, Reason. I don't know how this mistake was even made, but it was a Cuban flag. And this is particularly weird to me. I seriously don't know how this happened because while Miles has a Puerto Rican suit with the correct color scheme for the flag. So I have no idea what went wrong here, but I'm glad they fixed it. It's over with. They mentioned in their patch notes that today's patch corrects an error where the Cuban flag was incorrectly displayed instead of the Puerto Rican flag. We understand that accurate representation matters and greatly regret this error. We sincerely apologize and will do better in the future. Nevertheless, they fixed it. They have sincerely apologized for the mistake and hopefully we can move on from this. Just make sure, of course, if you want all of these changes to apply that before you load up the game, you hit start on the game's icon check for an update and make sure that you're officially updated to the latest version that version should be 1.001.003 but okay moving on now we've had the chance to play through marvel spider-man 2 i know a ton of people out there enjoyed it just as much as i did this game is a freaking masterpiece in my opinion I love what they did with craven in this game i love what they did with our spider man venom is so cool in this game as well at least for me and overall i think insomniac has a really good understanding Understanding of this character and the world that surrounds him so much so that i'm very confident that wolverine is going to be a good game and i'm also extremely confident that whenever we inevitably get a marvel spider-man 3 it's gonna be on par with at least spider-man 2's level of quality and of course if you've played through the game if you've beaten the game we all have a ton of questions as to where this could go next and brian intahar recently did an interview with the friends per second podcast and while he sort of answered 
answering that question of where this game where this franchise could go next as transcribed here by kotaku it mentions in a recent interview with the friends per second podcast spider-man 2 creative director brian intahar likened the latest game to 2016's captain america civil war the beginning of the marvel cinematic universe's box office topping third phase he's quoted here saying i think if spider-man and miles morales were our iron man and spider-man 2 was like civil war where logically do we go from there i think it'd be pretty epic i gotta be honest this analogy i'm trying to decipher what exactly it could mean i definitely know what he means in that well the first game spider-man ps4 and then i guess you can loop in the follow-up with miles morales were essentially the start of the insomniac universe and their take on this marvel character we know wolverine is on the way so does that mean that that's where we're starting to branch out does that mean that that's where we're starting to see more corners of the insomniac marvel games universe or specifically what i think it could mean and shout outs to my editor for actually being the one to point this out to me the first analogy here being that spider-man and miles are the iron man of the insomniac spider-man games and spider-man 3 would essentially be the end game of the insomniac spider-man games and which pivotal character which mainline marvel hero dies in the end game that's right iron man so what i think this could mean is that we're seeing potentially the end of peter parker spider-man in marvel spider-man 3 which honestly isn't the most out there wild guess i mean there's a lot in the insomniac spider-man games that pull from the ultimate comics so seriously it wouldn't surprise me if going into marvel spider-man 3 we end up seeing the death of peter parker and i feel like it would be earned at that point it makes sense for the story that they're trying to go with it would be the third spider-man game where peter parker is there as spidey alongside miles morales going up against someone like maybe green goblin i can definitely see there being a situation where he ends up getting killed off there's a lot of fun and heart in these spider-man games but there's also quite a bit of tragedy so far in spider-man ps4 miles morales and marvel spider-man 2 we've seen them deal with that in some way shape or form i'd have to imagine that will continue and that's a trend that we'll see going forward with marvel spider-man 3. outside of that i mean some people are speculating well if it's gonna be like end game with marvel spider-man 3 could we inevitably see a crossover of some sort with the wolverine game and the spider-man games or could we even see other marvel heroes start to pop up i mean some of them were hinted at officially in some way within marvel spider-man 2 so that's absolutely a possibility i guess we're gonna have to wait and see spider-man 3 is not something we're gonna hear about until a couple of years but of course i'm gonna keep you up to date on everything spider-man related right here on this channel so make sure you subscribe and make sure you got those notifications on and with that being said let me now kick it to you guys sound off with your thoughts in the comment section below first of all what do you think about the patch notes and all the things that have been added here in the update for spider-man 2 and then also what do you think about brian intar's quote there regarding where we go next for marvel spider-man 3 do you think peter is gonna die or do you think that what brian intar is trying to hint at here is some sort of crossover sound off with all your thoughts in the comment section below if you enjoy the video hit the thumbs up button i've been caboose and i'll see you guys later.